Hello everyone, I am Lost Scholar, and this is a tutorial on One Hour One Life Basics, and this is me popping my cherry on YouTube. I am doing my first tutorial on YouTube now, so let's go ahead and get into this. So, the first thing we're going to cover is our food meter. Your food meter starts out as four food bars max, and as you get older, that increases up to a max of 20. And we will cover a little bit more of that in the basics advanced. The next thing you're going to want to know as far as your HUD goes is your temperature meter. The closer to the center that arrow is on your temperature meter, the slower your hunger will decay. Now, as far as the tutorial goes, we are on a private server right now just to make the tutorial a little bit easier for you guys or easier for me at least to make it faster and not drag it out as much. Now, as far as the temperature is, I'm going to say that is a lot, uh, a lot apparently, but your temperature meter uh, is based on what tile you're standing on, and there are different biome types. The first biome type is going to be the plains biome, which we're standing in right now, this green biome. Then you have your desert biome, which is this cracked brown biome that we're standing in. That is going to be one of your hottest biomes. And you have the marsh biome, which is the bluish brown that we're in right now. You have your snow biome, which is going to be one of your coldest biomes. And going to cause your hunger to deplete just as bad, or if not worse, than the desert biome. You also have your savanna biomes, even though I used to call these deserts for some reason because of the color, but they are a orangish yellow colored and they have a few useful things for creating a camp. And I think we've covered all except for this one. This is your mountain biome. This will help you get into the steel age. But again, we will cover the advanced stuff like that in a later tutorial. The first thing you're going to want to do when you spawn, if you're trying to create a camp of your own, is to find a round stone and a big hard rock. Kind of convenient they were together, right? Almost like someone put them there for us, not me. So, once you have your round stone, go ahead and hit it against a big hard rock. That will turn it into a sharp stone, which I am now holding in my hand. Once you have your sharp stone, find your way over to a marsh biome, which again is that bluish brown biome, and hit your sharp stone against two reeds. That'll give you these reed bundles. You go ahead and take one reed bundle and put it on top of another reed bundle, and that'll give you a basket. Now baskets are one of your primary tools, of course, in this game. Uh, they're was a few tricks to keeping baskets longer, but they only last about 10 hours, I believe, before they decay, which is going to be much longer than your one hour that you're playing the game. Uh, the reason you want a basket is because baskets allow you to carry three items instead of just one. They also allow you to do other small things like transport soil. And uh, one other thing we didn't really cover is dangers in the world. Uh, that would be like this here boar that just ran past me. Uh, we are using a mod right now, by the way, that lets us zoom in and out. It also displays a little other information, like the age counter and uh, some fertility information, but we'll cover that when we go over the mod in another tutorial. Uh, as far as the basics go, uh, we've got our basket now and the sharp stone. So, the next thing we're going to want to do is make some adobe. To do that, we're going to want to cut down three more reeds. And we're going to want to find one of these clay deposits. You can either carry the clay to your reeds or the reeds to your clay, or find them side by side like we did here. Ideally, if you are going to transport it, you're going to want to transport the clay because you can use your basket to transport three clays at once instead of one at a time, which is what you would have to do with the reeds. So. Once we have our three clay, we're going to lay those on the ground, and we're going to put our reed bundles on them. That will turn them into the adobe we need to make the base of our camp. So, now we have our adobe, or adobe, however you say it. And we're going to take those back to where we want to set up our camp, which I don't really know exactly where we want to set up the camp. I just have a rough idea that it's over here-ish. So, wherever we find a round stone. Alright, we found a round stone here. 
Now, there are a few things you want to do before leaving home. Uh, I did leave my sharp stone over there, so I'm going to go ahead and make another one. But you're going to want to find one of these saplings, which only spawn in the plains, a.k.a. the green biomes. And you're going to want to cut that down with a sharp stone. You're going to want to place it wherever you want your home to be, and you're going to want to hit that with a round stone. Now, what that will do is that will basically, every time you leave the screen, it'll give you a marker pointing to where your home is, and that'll help you find your way back. Or you could do what some of us do and install the mod, which lets you zoom out to God view. Ob's vision, but he doesn't want to call it Ob's vision. <laughs> the obsidian eyes. All right, so now we have our three adobe. The next step is going to be to place it where you want your base at. Uh, and hit it with a round stone. That'll give you the adobe oven base. Then you take your other two adobe and put it on top. The first adobe will turn it into a adobe oven, and that'll be used for something later on. That's not what you want first in a camp because you don't have a lot of uses for it early on. What you're really going to need first is going to be a kiln. Once you apply your third adobe to the oven, it turns it into a kiln. Now that we got our kiln, we're going to want to go ahead and make and or find some tools. Now the bases for almost all tools in this game is going to be milkweed, and we have some around here somewhere. This is milkweed. It has three stages in its life. Uh, we will cover those in an advanced tutorial. For now, we're just going to go ahead and pick it and get a milkweed stock. Once you have a milkweed stock, you're going to want to put two of them together to make a string. I believe it's called a string. It's called a thread, my bad. Once you have your thread, you're going to want to make a few more of those. Conveniently enough, someone has planted a bunch of milkweed here for us. Not me, I swear. It wasn't me. So, now that we've got two thread, we're going to want to fuse those together and make a rope. So, we're going to want three ropes, ideally. So, you won't find milkweed like this out naturally. We just did this kind of for the purpose of speeding up the tutorial, but we're going to go ahead and want to make three ropes. Okay, so we made threads again, fused the red, red, fused the thread together to make a rope, and then we have our three ropes. Alright, now what do we do with those ropes? Do we make a noose? No, we do not make a noose. That is not a tool that you want to use. Uh, the tools we are looking for are going to over here this is what i was looking for you're going to want to find a lombardi poplar tree and that will allow you to get a branch every hour it's going to be a small curved branch again i keep losing my sharp stone so i'm going to make another one you use a sharp stone on that to make a small curved shaft and then you're going to take one of your ropes apply it to that shaft to make a bow drill bow we're going to put that back in our basket for now because we need to find another tree. Try not to zoom out too much here in the tutorial, but of course there are no trees that I am looking for here. Of course, I don't bring the essentials with me when I try to make a uh, tutorial, right? Okay, we've got one here. So the next tree you're going to look for is a maple tree. Maples are used for almost everything, so you kind of want to use the branches a little bit more sparingly. Uh, again, we don't have our sharp stone, so we're going to go make another one. You're going to want to file it down once for a long straight shaft, twice for a short shaft. So we're going to take that short shaft, and we're going to apply it to our bow to make a fire bow drill. That's going to be our first tool. So now we're going to kind of wander around a little bit here and look for some uh, maple trees. which I am not having any luck finding. They only spawn in the plains biomes, and as you can tell, the plains biomes we were in were very small. But, uh, tough luck, right? Okay, so probably to make this a little shorter, we're probably going to work our way back up north. No, here we go. Okay, so we got our maple trees now that we're looking for. If I would have scouted the area in advance, I wouldn't have had to search. 
So we're going to take a few more of these off. And uh, so the first tool we made was our fire bow drill and uh, the sharp stone, which I keep losing. So let's go ahead and make, what is this, our third, fourth sharp stone, fifth sharp stone, sixth sharp stone? Who's counting? Okay, so we're going to want to file one of these down to a long shaft again. And then file it down again to a short shaft. And then file it down again to get stakes. So we're going to take our rope and apply it to the stakes. That'll give us our next tool, which is going to be a rabbit trap, a.k.a. a snare. And then for the last tool, we're going to want to take a long shaft again, file it down twice. And then we're going to apply the rope to it to make a tied short shaft. And then we're going to want to apply the sharp stone to it, and that'll give us a hatchet. So now we've got our three basic tools for a camp. Now, we're going to have to come back to these maple trees here in a second, because I am going to need those, and I will show you why here in a second. Because for the basics, as with life in the real world, fire, Welcome back, master. fire, fire, fire is one of the biggest basics. It's an attempt to be one caterly. We are currently live on Twitch right now, but we are doing a unedited recording for YouTube. That's what those sound effects were, in case anyone watches this video in the future and wonders why someone screamed Oni-chan in the background. So we are gonna go ahead and bring a few of these back right now. By the way, if anyone wants to like, subscribe, or follow, you can find me at twitch.tv slash lostscholar. Good intermission while we collect branches, right? Caterly was attempting to ruin the YouTube uh, video here with a song request, but he doesn't know if the music's turned off. Ha 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 ha. Okay. So we got a few sticks now that we were uh, trying to make for camp. So once we have the sticks, we're going to want to file them down once each. This will be for making fire. This one will be for my little piggy. No, okay. These two are for later. Uh, little more okay we'll go into the fire first sorry i got distracted there for a second because ideally you do a lot of your work in advance but for now we're not really going to do that we're going to go ahead and cut down this root really quick and eat it for some food so to make fire first step would be to make kindling and that's where our hatchet comes into play um and this is where our tree sort uh, shortage comes into play also So you probably would normally want to prep some stuff in advance before you start your fire, like a stack of kindling and a few other things. But to do that, uh, I'm grabbing a sharp stone, not my hatchet. Basically, anything wood can be cut with a hatchet to tur be turned into kindling. Uh, what you're going to want to do now is find your third tree, which is a juniper tree, and uh, punch it with your fist. And somehow that magically gives you tinder. The next thing you're going to want to do is find one of your Lombardi trees or maple trees and punch that with your fist. That'll give you a leaf. So to make a fire, uh, again, we're going to take the hatchet to make kindling. We're going to take our kindling, kind of set it out because we'll need that in a second. Get a Lombardi tree for the tinder. Get a leaf from the maple or Lombardi tree. And actually, it was the juniper tree for tinder. I apologize for that. And then we are going to take our fire bow drill Anita? and hit our long shaft with the fire bow drill. That'll give us an ember shaft. We'll hit that with the leaf, and that'll give us a ember leaf. Hit that on the tinder, which will give us a smoldering tinder. And then take our kindling and throw that on, and that'll give us a fire. Congratulations, you've made your first fire. You are a caveman. 
So again, we'll cover that really quick because I don't want my fire to go out. Uh, you will take the fire bow drill, hit it on the shaft, take the leaf, hit it on the shaft, take the leaf, hit it on the tinder, and then take the kindling and throw it on the tinder, and that'll turn it into a fire. If you don't do that in time, the tinder will burn out, but we'll worry about that another time. For the purposes of this tutorial, we are going to end with fire and clay bowls. This is a little bit more advanced and we'll recover the clay stuff in another tutorial. But for now, let's go ahead and uh, run around looking for clay that does not exist. Okay. So we will just end this tutorial now with uh, fire. The last thing you really need to know about fire is transferring fire to your forge or your oven. So to do that, you want to put some kindling in your oven like we already did. And we will relay our fire with more kindling. And you will take your long straight shaft, hit it on your fire. That'll turn it into a fire brand. Then you can transfer transfer your fire anywhere you want for I believe it's up to 30 seconds, and uh, that'll light your kiln on fire. At which point we can fire some wet clay bowls if we had them prepped. But that is the basics in one hour one life. If you've gotten this far, you have successfully made a kiln and a fire, and you're ready to rule the world. Tune in next time or like, subscribe, and follow at twitch.tv lost scholar. All the links are down in the description below. And I will also put the link for the mod that we were using if anyone is interested in it. It is the one hour one life plus mod created by OBS. Thank you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow. Peace out.